We talk about New Year's resolutions, and uh, I've never had this as a New Year's resolution. I probably should have, and it's something I fail at uh, quite regularly. I fail at this, being grateful. You know, I, I, I look at my life, and I, and I look at my parents, and I, as I think as I age, as I get older, um, I'm more grateful for what I had, and I didn't realize it. wasn't a perfect life, but I think, for me, I fail at that. Just, just, just understand it could have been far bumpier with far more turbulence. And if Philip Rivers announced he's retiring, Chargers forever, one-year Colts. And um, I don't think there's anything in American sports that signifies grateful more than, or certainly in that class, where you land in the NFL is about 80% of it. A high school quarterback in America has more power than an NFL quarterback. He gets to decide where he goes to college. A college quarterback has more power than an NFL quarterback. If he makes his decision, he could transfer. But in the NFL, you get drafted, it will be years, because they can franchise tag you, before you can leave. Philip Rivers was drafted the same year as Eli Manning. Eli's got two rings. As Big Ben, Big Ben's got two rings. They'll be first ballot Hall of Famers. Philip Rivers has one conference championship. He did have five coaches, though. One of them fired after he went 14-2. and two. Consider that Philip Rivers has more yards passing than Big Ben and Eli. More touchdown passes than Big Ben and Eli. More completions than Big Ben and Eli. A higher quarterback rating than Big Ben or Eli. He's got more wins than Eli. His winning percentage, 134 and 106. Eli won 117 games, lost the same number. The only knock on Phillip Rivers, you know, he wasn't very, wasn't very effective in the playoffs. He had five head coaches. His franchise moved. And a coach that was 14-2 and two was fired. You have more power in football as a high school and college quarterback. This is why I question whether Joe Burrow will be a big success. It's not on Joe Burrow. It's on the Bengals. Go look at Matt Stafford's career and Carson Palmer and consider what happens if they're drafted by the Steelers or the well-run Packers or the well-run Saints. Matt Stafford may finish his career in Detroit without a single playoff win. It's why I said if I was Joe Burrow, I would have pushed back on being drafted by the Bengals. It's why if I was Trevor Lawrence and the Jags would have hired Dan Campbell as a head coach and not Urban, I would have pushed back on going there. Phillip Rivers should get into the Hall of Fame. Look at his numbers. Look what he had to overcome. It's remarkable. When I said he has more touchdown passes than Eli, and Big Ben. Your first reaction was what? He does? Five coaches, franchise moved, 14-2 and two coach, Marty Schottenheimer fired. Sometimes, instead of complaining, you got to look around and go, my parents weren't that bad. <laughs> my sister annoyed me, but she wasn't bad. Uh, the reality is, Philip Rivers' career, had he had elite from day one coaching, offensive lines, ownership and stability, he would be the Hall of Famer, and Eli and Ben would probably be on the outside looking in. By the way, the Herd brought to you by Jersey Mike Subs. Be a sub above. We're getting free ones today in one hour. Um, Deshaun Watson, yesterday on social media, quarterback for the Houston Texans, said, listen, I've got to show more patience. And I thought to myself, actually, considering he's like young, I mean, I'm older and lack patience. He's showing incredible restraint, and I'll prove it to you. Because he has not yet come out and said, trade me. That's kind of the line that you, once you cross that, you can't go back, right? Trade me. So he hasn't gone there yet. Pro football focus grades every snap of the season, every single one for every player. They grade everyone. I rely on them for offensive line discussions because I don't watch guards play. Quarterbacks, receivers, backs. Here are the highest-graded quarterbacks in the league. Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady, Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, Deshaun Watson. So four of them 
are in the conference championships. Deshaun Watson's team went 4-12. and Ask yourself this. How bad do you have to be around Deshaun Watson to go 4-12? and Consider this. The Bengals had a better record than the Texans using Joe Burrow, Ryan Finley, and Brandon Allen. The Broncos went 5-11, and better than Deshaun Watson, with Drew Locke, Jeff Driscoll, <laughs> Brett Rippon, and Kendall Hinton. <laughs> How poorly is Houston run? Well, at least they've got some good draft picks. Uh, no, they don't have a first-round pick or a second-round pick this year. Well, at least, hey, they can go buy some good players. They've got cap space. No, they're $18 million over the cap. Okay, okay, okay. They've got a good coach. No, by the end of the day, they'll be the only NFL team that doesn't have a coach. But they do have a pastor running their football franchise. Folks, it's incredibly difficult to be really talented and have to work with stiffs. That's his life. And you get one shot at this thing. We all get one shot. I'm not into reincarnation. You get one shot. I think he's showing incredible restraint. I'm going to give you a stat. And you're not going to believe it. Because I didn't when my team gave it to me this morning. <laughs> Richard Sherman of the Niners was quoted this week saying, if I was him, I'd get out of there as quickly as possible. I'd head to New York. In Houston's losses this year, not their games, in their 12 losses, Deshaun Watson's passer rating was 108 plus 0.9. That's second in the NFL to Aaron Rodgers. For the people saying, whoa, and I'm not a big fan of guys demanding trades. In Houston, James Harden, I believe, was given really solid support. They tried to make stuff work. James was the issue. With Deshaun Watson, bad old line, instability, trading away players, DeAndre Hopkins is gone. In his losses, his quarterback rating was second in the NFL to Aaron Rodgers. I think he's showing absolutely incredible restraint. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.